Today, I'm going over drink package options on celebrity cruises with things to consider to see if purchasing a drink package is right for you. I will break down what's included in each package, the cost, how to score a deal, and tips on maximizing the value. We literally recorded every single drink we ordered on the ship just to do the math. Of course, it was much more than we anticipated, so I will go over the math we did prior to sailing and whether we saved or lost money on the package. This was our first celebrity cruise and if you've watched my other videos, you're aware that we're most familiar with NCL, which typically includes the drink package in almost every booking. So we haven't had to consider if or if not to get the package. There are three different packages, non-alcoholic, classic, and premium. We ended up purchasing the premium package. Included on the classic package is any alcoholic drink for $10 or under, and on the premium package, it's any alcoholic drink $17 and under. Now keep in mind, if you do find a cocktail or a wine that is more expensive than that, you simply pay the difference. The rest of the non-alcoholic selections are quite similar on both packages. They just differ slightly. Like the classic package, you get standard bottled water, whereas on the premium package, you get the fancy Aquapana and San Pellegrino. Okay, now let's take a look at the alcohol options. With the classic package, you may purchase a cocktail up to $10, and on the premium package, it's up to $17. Now let's go over things you might wanna consider when making this decision. First, how much do you drink? Now with Celebrity Cruises, you can bring a bottle of wine on board, one bottle per guest, but this does include the liter and a half bottles of wine, if you like cheaper wines. Unfortunately, I've yet to find the good stuff that comes in bulk bottles, so that doesn't work for me. But if it works for you, maybe you're better off bringing your bottles and supplementing with individual drink purchases. Next, what do you drink? Do you drink basic cocktails like rum and coke or fancy martinis? If only basic cocktails in the classic package could work for you. If fancier, higher cost drinks are more your style, you may consider the premium package. The cost difference between the two packages isn't much, which is why we ended up choosing the premium package. Do you drink upgraded coffee? This means anything aside from the basic buffet coffee, which if you don't already know, free cruise ship coffee is the worst. How much water will you drink? Are you fine filling your water bottle at the buffet drink station? Or do you prefer drinking bottles of water? Are you planning to bring extra waters off the ship on port days? Do you like fresh squeezed juices? Those can get costly on a cruise ship, so adding that to the overall value of your package may make sense. Another thing to consider is how many port dates are on your itinerary. And more specifically, how much will you be off the ship? If you're planning long port days and a port heavy itinerary, maybe a drink package isn't right for you as it could be difficult to maximize the value on those days. Like to be adventurous on vacation and try new things? Or do you have the same drink of choice no matter where you are? If you like to try new things, it's highly possible you will order things you don't end up liking. If you pay out of pocket for something, you may feel inclined to finish it, and I see no value in forcing consumption of anything you're not enjoying. We ordered several drinks we didn't like, and it was nice to be able to replace it instantly with something that we did at no extra charge. One way to maximize the value of your drink package, if you would opt to choose one, is to keep drinks in your cabin and take off the ship on port days. This could be bottles of water or alcoholic drinks in a can. Another option is now when you're booking your cruise, Celebrity offers an all-inclusive option, and we did the math and found that they give you the best price point on your drink package when you book it while booking your room. Now this is only for the classic drink package, but you can upgrade to the premium package for a very nominal cost. Now if you've already booked your room and you didn't go the all-inclusive option, watch for a sale. Celebrity is constantly sending out emails offering discounts on these add-ons like the packages ranging from 20 to 40%. Snag that 40% if it's something you wanna do because that is the best discount out there and they only do it a few times between booking your cruise and actually sailing. 
Also, if you find a better deal after you pay, you can easily call for the discounted rate with no hassle. They will simply credit you for the original package price that you booked and charge you the new price. All right, now to the fun part. Here is our cost breakdown and why we picked the premium package. When we broke it down per day, we thought we would at least come out even. When you're breaking down the per day rate, be realistic on what you will consume because for most of us, that's gonna look different on vacation. So I knew that I would have two Americanos every morning. I saw on menus online that they were $5, so I estimated $10 for that. Now I prefer San Pellegrino sparkling water and I assumed I would have about four per day. That makes my non-alcoholic total $26, which to get to what we paid for the premium package, which I mentioned that, it was $65 per day. So at $26 for my non-alcoholic drinks, I had only $29 to spend to make the package worthwhile. Now for me, because I drank martinis and higher end wines, I knew I was gonna be purchasing more on the $17 per drink side. So that meant I only have to purchase 2.29 more drinks to make the package worthwhile. You don't even have to drink a lot for that to happen. So that's what we estimated. Let's go over the actual cost. So coffees, I spent $75 total for the week. San Pellegrino's $80. Alcoholic drinks, $905, which would have meant that our total, purchasing them a la carte would have been $1,060. The drink package cost me $520 because as I mentioned, it's $65 per day and it was an eight night cruise. So that meant that I had a savings of $540. And if you include both of us and our savings, that's $1,080. Now I will be honest, we drank more than we probably would have just because you keep wanting to think you're getting value. But even if we had consumed half of what we did, the drink package still would have been of good value for us. So if you've been on Celebrity Cruises, let me know if you did the drink package or not and if you felt it was value. And sometimes I wonder, do you even know if you're not recording all your drinks, how can you really know? Also something I forgot, to mention is consider whether the ease of not having to think about having a bill at the end of your cruise or having to sign receipts throughout your cruise, if that convenience factor is important to you, that was something that we knew we hadn't done before and really part of what encouraged us to explore the drink package options in the first place. Now that we did it and we saw the math, we know this makes sense. So we'll continue to do it going forward. But let me know what you think. Let me know what your history or your experience was. My goal is intended to help you cruise better and I hope this video achieved that. If so, I would encourage you to like the video, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos in this series and take a look at all my other videos as well.